Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome if you are new. I'm so happy to have all of you here today. Right now I am at Target to kick off this little vacation pack and prep because there are some essentials I would like to grab here. Two things you should know before we get started today. Number one, for this particular trip, I'm going to Orlando, Florida and I will be spending a majority of my time at Universal Studios. So this is not just going to be a normal vacation pack and prep because I do have a few extra things that I wouldn't normally pack or do if I weren't going to a park and spending all day at a park. And number two, we did decide to fly and book a flight instead of driving to Florida because both were an option. But in order to justify the price of flying, we are not taking any checked bags. We are just taking carry-ons basically. So we're each going to bring a backpack on the actual flight. So this is going to be kind of a light packing addition. But anyways, with all of that in mind, let's head into Target. First, I went on the hunt to find some new pink clothing to match the new pink tennis shoes that my mom spoiled me with for this trip. Before the clothing section though, came the swimsuit section. So I just took a moment to browse, thought about this one, really nice coverage on that top right there. These beach pants, really cute too, but finally made my way over to the athleisure section to look for some kind of pink tones. These athleisure dresses looked like they could have been really cute, but I was a little bit worried about the length since I am taller, so I just decided to pass on them. These little matching sets came in some really pretty colors and I ended up spotting a pair of shorts in this beautiful light shade of pink so I ended up picking those up. I saw some other pieces with good potential. These dresses were 20% off. These stars above loungewear sets felt really comfy cozy. I love these tees. They're really inexpensive and easy to wear. They also had this really nice display of lightweight tank tops and long sleeve shirts which would be really nice for walking in the heat. I ended up stumbling across this random wild fable t-shirt and it was really soft and the length was like my favorite fit for a shirt so I ended up picking that up. Moving into the beauty and hygiene section. I've been wanting to switch to an aluminum free deodorant for the longest time and I've been getting a lot of recommendations for this Old Spice one and this particular scent had great reviews so I picked that one up. I took a look at their little mini travel size section and saw this Garnier micellar water which will be perfect for taking off my makeup at the end of each day. Next I wanted to pick up a sunscreen with a higher SPF because my skin is going to be getting a lot more sun exposure than it's used to so I went with this Neutrogena one. Unrelated to this trip but still very necessary. I'm trying out a new leave-in conditioner by John Frieda. Over in the travel size products section, they had a mini of the CeraVe or CeraVe moisturizing cream, which will be a great travel moisturizer for this trip. And that's going to complete this little Target travel haul. The bag is secured, but I'm gonna head home because we still have a lot to do. Once I got home from Target, I did have quite a few pre-travel chores on my to-do list. I started with laundry, just sorting it, throwing it in the wash, and then switching it over to the dryer, of course. Hunter did the dishes while I did this. That's kind of our little routine lately, is I will do the laundry and put it away, and he will do the dishes and put them away, and that's just what works for us. So that's what I'm doing here, just so it's not sitting there undone, waiting for us to come back from our trip. All right, everybody, it is much later in the day, so excuse the lighting situation, but I think I have all of my clothing for this trip all picked out and ready to be packed into my little backpack. I have a bunch of pairs of underwear. I have some socks. I have a bunch of sports bras. This is a swimsuit. I'm just bringing one because I'm not sure how much I'll actually need it on this trip. A bunch of pairs of athletic shorts, a pair of denim shorts, three tank tops, white, green, and black. I'm bringing a few simple tees. As you can see, the general theme of my outfits is just kind of comfortable as I'm going to be walking around a park. So I want to be focused more on practicality and comfort than style and fashion. I did bring a dress in case we go anywhere nice, some flared leggings in case I get cold, even though I probably won't based on the temperatures I've been seeing. Just one pajama set because I think I'm gonna end up sleeping in whatever I wear for the day, which is kind of gross. But again, we're living off a of carry-on, so. I forgot, I also wanted to bring a pair of slides. And then I have a pair of sunglasses right here. So I'm gonna try to fit all of that in my carry-on. And then I also have some hygiene and beauty packs to do yet. I have my outfit for tomorrow all laid out here. I have a pair of underwear, a black tank top, a sports bra, and this little pink set. I have a claw clip. I'm going to throw in this little Danny pack, belt bag, whatever you want to call it. So that'll just be ready to go for me for the morning. My mom gave me these little organizers as well. So I'll probably organize my clothes into these a bit more. This is the current situation for the hygiene, makeup, beauty, etc. packing. Now there are some items missing in here because there is a liquid limit i need to be able to fit everything that's a liquid cream gel powder etc in this bag so there isn't any like conditioner body wash soap anything like that 
included here because we're going to have to buy that when we actually get to Orlando because of that airline limit. So I have the essentials. I have some contact lenses. I have some Excedrin and Advil in a little baggie because you just never know when you're going to be in pain. Same with the band-aids here. And I have my birth control pills, obviously. I'm bringing a toothbrush, not my electric one, just because this one will be easier, I think, for transport. A little mini toothpaste that I got from my dentist probably too long ago at this point, but we're gonna use it. Some floss, of course. I'm bringing a scrunchie, the new aluminum-free deodorant I picked up. This is a little travel size body mist from Bath & Body Works. I'm keeping my skincare routine very simple this trip. I'm just bringing some micellar water, a bunch of cotton rounds to remove my makeup and sunscreen screen, a little travel size moisturizer, and this new sunscreen. For makeup, I have my waterproof mascara. I have the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, which is my favorite for vacation and just hotter climates. My Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick, my Say Beauty Liquid Blush. I have the Sephora Lip Mask and this NYX Gloss. And then I'm bringing just three brushes and my lash curler. Back here, I also have my hairbrush and my comb for when I wash my hair, because I'm sure I will have to while I'm there. As I was finishing my packing, though it is not shown in any of these clips, I did bring my Joyce Meyer book just to continue to feed my mind with new knowledge about the Lord while on the trip. Highly recommend bringing a supplemental reading like that with you on vacation to just make sure you're keeping God as close to you as you always do. I am then ending off my night with my go-to pre-vacation everything shower. As you just saw, I just went in with some conditioner on my hair and now I am prepping all of the areas I would like to shave with my Coco Colada scrub from Tree Hut, working that around the surface of my skin and then going in with my Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean Shave Oil and my Joy Razor as well to shave any areas I would like to be hairless for this trip. Then following that up with the Simply Nourish body wash from Method and some unscented soap and a baby washcloth for the downstairs area. To finish off, I'm going to rinse all of the conditioner out of my hair before combing through it and then going in with a leave-in. Good morning, everybody. I was too tired and in a hurry to not do a voiceover for this. So I put in some gold hoops to make me look a little more put together, went in with some SPF and then the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer under the eyes, blended that out super quick, set it with some translucent powder from Revlon, and then went right in with my mascara to open up my eyes a little bit. I did do the waterproof this morning because I know I will be sweating later today. Finished it all up with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Happy for a little cheek flush moment and headed out the door with my bag. Here we are boarding our flight. So that is going to complete today's travel vacation pack and prep video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Thank you again so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you soon.